Credential theft is one of the most common tactics threat actors implement when trying to execute a breach. Keeping our credentials safe is extremely important. They protect our online identities and everything that goes with them. These attacks can be successful for many reasons. Weak or reused passwords, a lack of training, and perhaps most of all, our constant hunt for information. In this digital age, we turn to the internet for virtually everything. Working, shopping, managing our kids' schedules, reading about our favorite sports teams, and everything in between. Cyber criminals use our reliance on the internet against us and aim to dupe us, especially when we're on our work systems. Before we can stop credential theft, we must know how it shows up. There's a few ways credential theft might take place. Sometimes it starts with a phishing URL in an email. For example, someone's shared a file with you. Click here to log in and access it. When you click the link, it takes you to a login page that's designed to look exactly like the page you expect it to be. Only it's not, a few minor details might be different. The URL, the certificate, perhaps the logo or the formatting might be just a little off. Not enough to alert you though. You enter your credentials and you hand over your username, password, and any other credentials to the cyber criminals. Malware could also be dropped on your computer. Software programs that are designed to scan your computer for stored and cached credentials and then gather those and send those off to the adversaries or perhaps even capture keystrokes as you type and as you work and send that information across for analysis. All of these are different ways in which an adversary or a cyber criminal can gain access to your username and your password or your identity. First, apply simple password hygiene. To excel at good password hygiene, make sure you never save passwords on your devices. You use a unique password for every login and always use a password manager. There are many options out there. The password manager is an essential tool in reducing credential theft, but it's not the full stop. Make sure you're still changing your passwords regularly. Two, shut down inactive accounts. Just because you don't use an account anymore doesn't mean the cyber criminals won't target them. If they gained access to an account you haven't used for years, there's no telling where it could lead. Thirdly, two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication was created as an additional layer of security, helping to keep unauthorized people out of your accounts. Take advantage of this. Always implement application-based two-factor authentication. It provides more protection than the SMS and email-based options. Fourth, implement meaningful awareness training. Although it likely goes against company policy, employees use their work machines for more than just work. This simple fact means awareness training is a must have for every organization looking to avoid credential harvesting. Mimecast research found that 73% of employees extensively use company issued devices for personal matters. This adds to the risk of potential credential harvesting in a big way. Meaningful awareness training is training that captures employees' attention and helps them change behavior for the better. If you're in IT, be sure to find the right solution that is engaging. Things move fast online. Be sure to implement these steps to avoid handing anything over to the bad guys. They won't think twice about using the trust others have in you to gain a competitive advantage. Thank you for watching this episode of Cybersecurity Bytes. Learn more at mimecast.com. I'm Johandrea. Be safe out there. <laughs>